we keep using Siri or uh, for similar purposes, uh, Google Home or any other devices on a daily basis and keep adding our different tasks like remind me to water the plants tomorrow at 8 a.m. or in things, set up a task, create a script for my next video, create a note for me. I'm creating a note using artificial intelligence and does not need to type into this note from now onwards. The moment I say this sentence, the entire thing what I spoke about gets written on my Apple Notes app. We use Alexa. Hey Alexa, which NFL games are being played this afternoon? Or, hey Google Home, set the room temperature at 75 degrees. I'm pretty sure you're using these commands on many more other commands also, managing your daily life that are making you more productive and efficient. And this has been possible using artificial intelligence or commonly known as AI. Artificial intelligence makes our lives more efficient every day. AI powers many programs and services that helps us do everyday things such as connecting your friends or using an email program or using a ride share service for that matter. So what is artificial intelligence? AI is the simulation of human intelligence and processes by machines, especially computer systems. Specific applications of AI include export systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, and machine vision. The definition of AI might be complicated, but let's go over a few simple examples of AI, like Google Maps suggesting the traffic and the time taken from point A to point B, the uses of uh, Uber and Lyft, and like spam filters in emails. With that said today, let's go over a few use cases and productivity apps that we manage on a day-to-day basis and see how productive and efficient these apps are making us by the use of AI. First one is otter.ai. Thousands of students at universities across the country are using this AI-powered app to stay on top of classes, so reading lists, group assignments, research interviews, and exam preparation. This great app generates rich notes for meetings, interviews, lectures, and other important voice conversations with the author. This is the AI-powered assistant. Next one, as you are aware, is my favorite called Evernote. You can capture notes by just speaking into your native microphone from your mobile device. You can ask Siri to do the same and Evernote AI works great while you are clipping a web page and the app itself categorizes into a specific notebook or folder based on the subject of the content. The third app I wanted to mention today is Todoist. This is the most popular and successful apps for task management. It has natural language features. No matter where you are, Simply click to create a task and use natural language to simply enter your details. Set a due date or a recurring due date like every Monday and you will never forget a deadline again. Then organize your task into a project and add a priority level so you know what's important. You can even share projects and delegate your tasks to a family member or a friend or a co-worker. Many other apps like Things3, ClickUp, TickTick have adopted the AI technology and creating news all around the globe. One of the last use cases I really wanted to mention is we can always ask our Siri, or for that matter, Google Home, to set up a calendar invite or perform calendar blocking very easily. You can say, hey Siri, or hey Google, Set up a meeting with me with the CEO tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we just saw a few AI-driven use cases in our personal lives. With that said, there's a reason why AI in the workplace, as well as homes, is continuing to become more and more popular. 
businesses can use this technology to improve efficiency as well as productivity. Well, this frees up employee time to work on more important and strategic tasks. While AI will take over smaller, more time-consuming tasks, it can't easily replace human emotions and behaviors that customers and audiences identify with. Even today, some customers prefer to talk to human customer service reps over bots when they have a problem. So that's all for today, and I hope you liked this video. Feel free to leave your comments below. Just as a quick introduction once again, my name is Anshul Kumar and I'm the founder of NextGen Digital, providing meaningful content on digital transformation, productivity, and personal growth. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and you will never miss my upcoming videos. Also, please feel free to access my other videos on productivity apps. I'll provide the link below in the description section. See you next Thursday once again. Until then, have a safe and productive week.